Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the DX Kaizoka Gatai Tukaiyo Tukai Riki and Tukai Katana set from Kikai Sentai Zenkaiger. I think it's kind of funny that they go out of their way to call it the Riki and Katana set. Like there's any way you could buy them separately. I don't know why <laughs> they don't just call it DX Tukaiyo, but whatever. Uh, so this is Tukaiyo. This is obviously Tukaiser's uh, mech. It has these two robot forms, it has various vehicle forms and everything, we'll get into all that. But let's be honest, you have the two little chibi robos and that's really the best part of this whole set, they're adorable. Uh, so we have, here is the flying alligator mode on top. Just kind of warnings and boring stuff over here on the side. Over here it shows the various uh, forms, we have the flying crocodile. We have these two like smaller vehicle forms so that each of the little robots get one. You got kind of a motorcycle and... I don't know, like a bobsled? I'm not quite sure what's going on with this one. Then you have a cannon mode, and then if I pan the camera down, since the box doesn't quite all fit, you have the two robots. So there's a lot of forms here. I mean, this is pretty cool. There's a decent amount of playability with just this one mech. And then over here, you have kind of little bios for the two uh, little robos and the powers they give him. Obviously, you have the Shinkenger and the O-Ranger. And then down here, they just have a nice little group shot of the Zenkaijers. And then over here on the back, pretty much just more of the same, showing off the various forms and how the little robos kind of get eaten by the crocodile when they transform, which I think is a really fun little play feature. So we're going to take a look at all of that. I'm going to go ahead, get all of this out of the box, and we're going to take a closer look. So here's everything you get in the box. The mech is just in two pieces. You have the two little robots, and then you have their two little sidearms. So we'll start over here with Tukai Katana, and he looks pretty great. I love how the chest kind of looks like the lion from Shinkenger. I think that's really cool. The helmet and everything from Shinkenger. You have some nice gold paint here, some nice blue paint for the eyes, a little silver paint there for the face. As far as articulation goes, it's just kind of a very limited little ball joint here near the shoulders. So you can spin that around, has a little bit of rock back and forth. But can't move the waist, can't move the head. I was kind of hoping at least the heads would be able to swivel side to side. Because I really don't see a reason why they couldn't. But... It is what it is. Now he does have the giant sword piece, as you can see, and that's just kind of a different colored gray plastic here for the blade. Has a little tab there. Come around to the back, there's a little spot right here on his shoulder, and you just peg it in. And so then he just kind of has a giant sword on his back, like Cloud out of Final Fantasy VII. So, really cool. Next up we have Tukai Ricky. Again, you have some nice gold paint. Looks like pink paint for the eyes, a little silver paint for the face, and then you have the lion here on the front and some more gold paint. And again, just the limited ball joint in the shoulder. Nothing else going on. You can kind of move this piece back and forth. I don't really understand why they felt that was necessary, but for the combined robot mode, that piece does move back and forth. And you can kind of see the helmet on the back here. His doesn't hide as well as uh, Katana's does. But again, he's got the giant Gatling piece that has the little peg on the back, so we just go ahead and peg that into the same place on his shoulder. And then he's got a giant Gatling gun on his back. So, I love the little robots. I think they're a lot of fun. Like I said, it would be great if they had a tiny little bit more articulation, but I get it. You know, they're Sentai robots. So we'll put these guys off to the side for a moment, and we will check out. I will say one thing, though. It's kind of hard to get them to stand. Sometimes, I mean, sometimes they end up using the thing on their back like as a kind of third leg tripod, but other times they kind of just fall over. It's kind of random. I don't know. They have a lot of... He he has more weight than Katana does. He can kind of stand decently. Plus his blade really does kind of go all the way to the ground. But sometimes Ricky likes to fall down. Anyway, here is the top piece. The croc piece. And I guess why we have them in, in these sections, I might as well just show the individual vehicle modes because this is basically it. All you do is flip these around to close that up. This piece flips to the back and then this flips up like this. So then you just bring Katana in and you can see that there's kind of little clips there. There are pegs, but there's also little clips so he's not going to fall out. And then he just kind of sits there. You can kind of move the hands up to make him look like he's driving. And there's his individual vehicle mode. And then over here for the bike. These little pieces can kick back. But they're just basically kickstands. So if you pop them down, they will help him stand up. You take Ricky, you take the gun off his back. And you can see that there is a peg hole and a little slit right there. And you just peg this onto the front. And then you just go ahead, move his hands up. 
and then he just pegs in so you just have to line up the peg holes on his feet there we go they're actually in the back and then that's basically it for his vehicle mode so that is the individual vehicle modes I think they're cool though I think the little motorcycle is kind of neat I like putting the Gatling gun in the front I also like how it still kind of has you know the little bit of the crockhead here with the red eyes and then when you flip these up it does actually roll pretty well so that's nice and I like how he kind of has a little handlebars like he's driving and then up here it's just kind of like a like a sled, sky sled or something almost I guess you can open the mouth of the croc if you want for attacks and whatnot but yeah he's pretty cool so that's it for the two individual vehicle modes I figured I'd show them off since that's basically how they come in the packaging uh, we will take these guys off for now and put them off to the side and we will check out the flying croc mode as that is very very easy to get to from here so you turn this like this I guess to simulate like a thruster of some kind and then you just take this and you connect it on here and there you go that is the flying croc mode there's not too much to it uh yeah that's that's pretty much it it looks a little weird with the wings all the way down at the bottom it would have been nice if there was some way to kind of slide them up into the body cavity because this is empty it's all empty right now so it would have been neat if they had a way to kind of slide this up so that the wings were kind of you know where you would imagine them to be i understand that's a little bit more engineering than they probably have time for but i still think it would have been neat uh we can also show off the cannon mode so the cannon mode just extends these down as long as they don't knock everything over so we just extend that out let me move the camera up a little bit and then you just kind of open up the mouth here you take their two weapons and you can see that there's kind of this like groove area and that's for this piece here you can see that they're kind of, it's kind of beveled so it fits right in there right like that and then there are the two peg spots over here and the hand piece here this will actually peg onto that and then if you want to close the mouth a little bit more you can it's really up to you I think the directions show it like that officially and uh, then you can just put one of these guys on each leg and they don't peg in or anything they just kind of sit on here but as I keep dropping him Ricky stood right on there come on pal anyway there you go there's the cannon mode it's pretty cool I think it works I think it looks neat very simple transformation so it's pretty cool so you have a decent amount of modes before we even get to the two robot modes so I think that's pretty fun but let's go ahead he's just gonna fall off whatever let's go ahead let's get to the robot transformations all right so moving into the robot transformations uh first we'll do i guess the two kai katana transformation so we're gonna take this little dude you're gonna open up the croc mouth you actually have to flip this panel out and then put this all the way up like that now, I never understand why it works this way, but when you go to pull out this ramp piece, it's going to flip these open, and I don't really understand why it does that, but you kind of have to pull this out all the way. Then you have to close these back up. So I don't know why it does that, but uh, then we're going to take him, put the hands down, and then he's going to clip into this little area right inside here. So he just clips right in there. And then you're actually going to, let me zoom in a smidge here so you can see this, turn this little dial right here, and then he flips right inside there. You can close this back up at this point and flip this closed. Then you're going to spin this around 90 degrees. Let me zoom back out. Then you're going to flip this down, flip this down. And I don't know why, but with these pieces down here like this, I'm getting uh, G1 Megatron vibes for the feet. But you're supposed to flip these up like so. And then basically we have most of the robot going on here at this point. Uh, we're going to flip this up at a 45 degree angle. And this little arm is going to come down. You actually have a 90 degree. Well, I guess really only. Well, yeah, you get a full 90 degree. But it stops at 45 degree. Bend here in this elbow. Then you're going to take uh, Ricky. Ricky is going to peg into this piece right here. 
and then flip down and then you're going to take the sword and you're going to peg this into his head. So make sure that's pegged in like so. Then you still have this Gatling gun piece. You kind of have two options for this. The directions tell you to go ahead and peg this in here on his butt because there is a little storage spot right there. But I think it's cooler because of that cannon configuration. He has the peg holes on his hand. So you can actually go ahead and peg this into the side of his hand. So you can actually use both weapons in this mode, which I think is pretty cool. He's got the sword, and then he's also got the Gatling gun. Isn't this supposed to be... I thought this was supposed to click into place more. No, I guess that's it. Okay. So I think that's pretty cool. Oh, I forgot the most important part. You flip this piece around here to reveal the new head. And then he's got this cool kind of little flourish up top. Now, as far as articulation goes, you really just have this shoulder movement and then this little elbow movement here and that's really it i guess you can technically do some out to the side at the elbow which looks a little weird oh and then this fell off but it's a cool looking mech i think it looks neat i like the kind of metallic paint here on the front we'll get a little bit closer so we can see the head sculpt it's not terribly different from <laughs> katana's head but it is a little bit more I guess refined or older seeming I guess as far he's not as super deformed with the facial expressions but yeah it's a cool little robot mode I think it looks pretty good now technically it does have waist articulation as well because you need to be able to move that to do the different configurations so I guess technically you could do kind of like a, a slash attack or something like that but uh yeah, I mean, it's Sentai, so they don't really build a ton of articulation into these. It would be nice if they did, but they don't seem to think it's very important. But yeah, so this is the Katana configuration for Shinkenger. I like it. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the O-Ranger configuration with Ricky. So I'm going to disconnect this stuff, pop this off. You can actually flip this part back, and it just kind of rests back there. Now, you can go through the whole pomp and circumstance of you know, opening this all up again and and having him like slide in, which I guess we'll do it just for fun, but uh, you can just go ahead and just top load them in if you want. You don't have to go through this every time, but you pop this in, he clicks onto place there, slide him in like so. This is actually gonna come all the way down and cover the hand, and then we're gonna rotate this around 180 degrees. Then we're going to take uh, Ricky, I'm sorry, this is Katana, flip this down, peg this in here, and then we're going to take the Gatling gun and peg that into the top of Katana's head, like so. And then they want you to take this and again, store it in that same spot on his butt. And then the last touch is just to push this in and flip the face around 180 degrees. So there we go, this is the uh, Ricky configuration for O-Ranger. Again, you just have that movement here in the shoulder you still have the waist articulation but if you do it's going to knock that sword off the back you can just put this off to the side if you want it kind of falls off pretty easily as it is unfortunately you lose all articulation on this side of his body because this piece does not move i wish it kind of came forward technically you could oh i forgot you're supposed to close that back up you can still chomp and whatnot but you'd have to get someone to like come right over to you or kind of run over to them sideways and chomp them. So I wish this was able to rotate forward. I get why it's not because of the whole load-in gimmick. So unfortunately, you could, I mean, you could put this up and get the hand back, but it doesn't bend this way. It only bends the other way. So there's no way to rotate this. It would be neat. It would be nice if you could just kind of rotate this or even if they just made it bend 180 degrees, then you could get, you know, an arm over here. You could, you know, do something like that. Maybe they both have that angle like that. Or have it go straight out for him or something. Or leave it down maybe almost like a cape piece but still expose the hand. So you have some options. Um, I kind of like the look of this, I'm going to be honest. But I wish they would have just let this bend back the other way. And that's really all you... Actually, okay, it does bend. I was afraid to break it, but it does. Alright, so there you go. That's what I'm going to be doing. This does actually bend both ways. That's fantastic. So I kind of like this kind of down like a cape almost. Kind of like a, you know, like a Espada or something, having that cape piece on the side of his arm. And you can actually bend this back. Now, I wish this had like a tiny little piece that I could actually pop that into his hand. But I guess technically I could peg this onto the side. Will this still work? Uh, no, because this part is too kind of thick because it has those pieces on the side there so that it can peg in. 
Otherwise, you could kind of peg this into that same spot on the side of the hand. I mean, you could maybe loosely still get this to work. I can't find the peg. Come on. No, it really doesn't want to do it at all. So, well, there you go. You can kind of get it to stay. This piece can kind of sandwich it in place. But either way, I mean, you could always, honestly, you could always just do this. Peg this in here. And now I'm popping his, his hand off. And then put this back on here because this we know this fits on here. So you could do something like that, you know? You have some options. I mean, you could play with it. I just, I like this form a lot. I love the color scheme. I think the head and the chest look really cool. Let's get a better, closer shot at those. You know, the chrome is all really nice for the O-Ranger symbol. And I like the head sculpt and everything. You have kind of the Egyptian uh, motif going on there. I just, it's a bummer to have no hand over here. So I'm definitely going to be doing this. I mean, you have a couple options. You could put it up like that, but I feel like, you know, leave that configuration for the uh, Shinkendra form. Maybe have this down. I kind of like that down there, almost like a cape piece. And then he gets two hands. You know what I mean? So that's that's the way to go, I think. So you have some options. You could, you could have him wield the sword and the Gatling gun. You could have him do just the Gatling gun. I mean, obviously this is like the official configuration. Just having the Gatling gun there. And then you can just put the gun, you know, the sword off to the side if you don't want him to dual wield. But I think this is a really cool configuration. I like that a lot. It's just a shame. Like, I like the idea of him using the croc as like a pincer claw. But because you can't rotate it at all, you kind of lose all that functionality. But I kind of like this. I kind of really like this. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, those are his two forms. I think they both look great. Um, I really like both of them for different reasons. I think the uh shinkendra one you know with the blade and everything the gold's very it's a great they're both great color schemes honestly um and this one i think now that i've come up with this new hand configuration this one really is jumping out at me like before the shinkendra form was winning for me but now this form i think is winning because i really love the silver and blue color scheme and i kind of really like that new configuration with the hand so yeah really cool i like this a lot I like this guy a lot. I really do. I think he might be my favorite mech so far. Not that the other two weren't fun, but they just didn't work out as well as I really wanted them to. You know, the individual forms were not that great. The vehicle forms or animal forms weren't that great. The combined forms were pretty good, but I feel like all the modes for this guy work. The little robots are adorable. I absolutely love them. The individual vehicle modes, I think, work pretty well. I love both of the robot modes. Even the cannon mode isn't bad. The flying crocodile mode is pretty probably my least favorite just because it looks kind of ridiculous but i still think everything works here i think there's a lot of playability in this you have six forms you have two different robot modes you have the two little chibi robos which are amazing so there's a lot here to have fun with so i definitely recommend picking this one up even if you haven't bought the other two i definitely recommend picking this one up because you don't need the other two i don't think they combine in any way i don't think they're going to combine in any way i could be completely wrong about that but sentai is not really concerned with giant combinations anymore they just kind of make you know four or five separate robots and and that's just kind of what they do now i i don't really know why they stopped giving us the giant combinations but this guy on his own is fun you don't need anything else to make him work so i definitely recommend giving him a look but let me know what you guys think in the comments below please like share and subscribe hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always thanks so much for watching